Gauri Moliki and I work for People for Animals. Uh, this is a series uh, for all young animal welfare people uh, to know more about the law so that they can protect animals effectively. So in Ahimsa Matters, this is the first episode and we have to start right from the beginning. Today we're going to talk about the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals Act, how it came to be and how important it is. So in 1890, India got its first Prevention of Cruelty to Animals Act. Yes, 1890. The act applied to cruelty situations done in public and uh, any cruelty done in private spaces was actually allowed. Uh, however, that was found insufficient. Finally, after independence in 1960, we got our very own Prevention of Cruelty to Animals Act 1960. This act is a very short and simply written act. It just has 41 sections. Anybody can read it in 15 minutes. It's as simple as that. It's available online. It's available on our websites, uh, including the Animal Welfare Board of India's websites. You can buy this book. It's called a Bear Act, B-A-R-E, Bear Act, uh, in any law bookstore or any district court bookshop um, for about 200 rupees. Uh, we will, of course, go into every situation, section by section, in detail in subsequent videos. But today, I just want to discuss the overall uh, impact of this act. In 1960, when the act was made, the penalties were very high. Now the penalties are sort of ridiculous, but that doesn't prevent you from actually using it to safeguard the victim, the victim being the animal. This act is very effective in doing that. Whether or not a high penalty is charged on the accused or not, you can actually remove the victim from a cruel situation and put it in the shelter of an infirmary or an SPC or a Gaushala, wherever, by the correct use of sections of this act. Um, for this, there are certain rules also made out. Uh, so never, without underestimating the, uh, the value of the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals Act, which applies in all animal situations, please pick up the book or download the act and read the 41 sections. Without the knowledge of the law, if one goes to a police station, your voice will not be heard. If you go to an authority, you will be taken lightly. If you write a complaint, it would be ineffective. The knowledge of basic 41 sections is not difficult at all. You do not have to be a lawyer. You do not have to be a highly qualified person to just read the 41 sections of the law. If you want to read this Hindi, then it is available in Hindi. The government of Bharat Sarkar has been made in every law in Hindi and Angrezi. So first of all, there is a constitution. The constitution has Article 51 AG, we all understand. It's a fundamental duty of every citizen of the country to be compassionate. But you can't go to a police station citing the article of the constitution. So what do you have to cite? You have to cite sections from the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals Act. Among these sections, there is one section that allows central government to frame rules under the act. There are 17 sets of rules that have been made by the uh, government of India applying to specific situations of animal cruelty whether it is transport of animals or slaughter of animals or animal birth control or case property animals or pet shops or dog breeders etc so all of these rules we will go into one by one but today is an overview so the objective of the prevention of cruelty to animals act is to prevent cruelty to animals so in order to do that a duty has been imposed on every owner of an animal to ensure that unnecessary pain and suffering is not inflicted upon any animal in his or her care. This is laid down in Section 3 of the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals Act. Another interesting thing uh, when you read the Act, you will find that here the word animal is defined as every living creature other than human beings. It's the same definition of animal as has been given in IPC also, IPC meaning Indian Bailey Code. Uh, animal is basically all creatures whether they run or they swim or they fly or they crawl, any animal uh, is included uh, under the protection of the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals Act. Another interesting definition is that of owner, anybody, I mean including the person who actually owns the animal or has bought it. Um, or is keeping it, uh, any person having the charge of an animal 
animal uh, of the custody of an animal would also be included in the term owner so we look forward to this journey together in the next episode we're going to talk more about the prevention of cruelty to animals act what is necessary and unnecessary pain and suffering and what amounts to cruelty um, till then subscribe to the channel and share it widely